you guys what's up welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to talk about something that can potentially help you and or your relationships this is going to be a three-part series and this is going to be part one obviously because this is the first video Sasha but yeah this is gonna be part one and this video is called love language what's your love language so I hope you guys are ready and if you are make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you can be a part of the next two videos that are in this series and yeah let's go ahead and get started roll the intro clip mm. Okay, so just a quick disclaimer before we get started, guys. Now, I am not saying knowing your love language is going to save your marriage, but I do believe it'll help whether you're newlywed or that you have been married for years. This, These um, five love languages are, are said to help, you know, communicate and better understand your partner or maybe even your friendships. So... With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into the video. So, honestly, I just found out that there's even such a thing as love languages. Um, I found this out about last year, maybe during the summer. Um, there are five different love languages. In today's video, we're going to talk about two. And then in part two, we're going to talk about the rest of them, which is three more. And then in part three... Mark and I, which Mark is my fiance, we are both going to take the love language quiz and see what our love languages are. Now, I granted I did take it for fun last summer, but I don't remember and it could change and I'm not pretty, sh I'm pretty, I'm not pretty, what am I trying to say? I'm not pretty. No, I'm beautiful, girl. Claim it. I'm, I'm cute. Okay. Anyways, I'm trying to say is I'm not too sure on what Mark's would be, but we're going to guess what each other's might be and then we're gonna take the quiz and then see if we're right so i think that video is gonna be super fun all right so like i said there are five i will have the five all right here but we're only gonna talk about two so we're gonna start off with love language number uno number one i have it all written down here and i wrote out notes and things like that so i'm gonna go ahead and read them so i don't miss anything and you guys can better understand it because you know i'm still working on my communication to y'all through this through this camera, through this lens, through that screen. So, yeah. So, the first one is words of affirmation. Examples of this with action are spoken words, written cards, and letters. So, if you are someone who just your heart melts when you get a written letter from your best friend or your loved one, um, this one sounds like, this one's probably you. Um, communication wise, so that was the action. So the communication part is having someone use encouraging wor words towards you like, you got it, girl. You ran that marathon so well. Oh my gosh, you nailed that seminar you did or something like that. Um, compliments, uh, affirming spirits, and then things you want to avoid with this type of person who loves, who is like genuine loves words of affirmation is you want to avoid emotionally harsh words and not necessary criticism so if the cri criticism is really not necessary basically don't do it it's kind of self-explanatory but yeah that's that so basically i feel like i am partially words of affirmation i love when um mark is like hey you did so good or i'm proud that you went through with this and turned out so well or like okay so i really for example i'm really I get really nervous before I sing, um, especially like I sing reggae music and I get really, really nervous before I sing in front of like a reggae crowd um, because I, I'm like American, but my family's Jamaican, but I really enjoy singing it, but it's a little, it's a little scary. But um, yeah, so once I feel like I've done a great job and I get off stage and Mark is like, baby, did so good. I'm just like, thanks, baby thanks it's so sweet i love it. it makes me look it makes me smile so big right now but um yeah so you just love lots of encouragement like work with words and yeah that's your love language if that sounds like you girl let me know down below love language number two is going to be quality time now i also love i feel like i'm just all of these 
to be honest no I'm just kidding but I also love quality time so this one the actions that people would usually do if um, you want to make someone happy who enjoys quality time is taking trips with that person um, doing things together obviously and like going on walks is like an example uh, me and Mark just made a date plan for tonight to go to the movies which I think is awesome because I just love I love being with him so sometimes you don't want to be with your significant other too much because then y'all gonna drive each other crazy but it's good to have quality time any and not anyways okay so next yeah, I said anything basically together. So, and then communication is quiet, place with no interruptions, undivided attention, and which is really hard these days because you know everybody and their mama be on their phone. So, let's see. And then one-to-one -one conversations, which it's cute because I feel like I'm noticing that me and Mark are like having more one-on-one. -on -one. Like we have like legit, we have conversations, but I'm talking about like conversations that like mean something or like just not like oh yeah today at work da, da, da. but no it's like babe yeah i'm really working on this and he's like yeah we should work on that do this together like we making boss moves we making moves by the way we, i posted this boss picture of me and him <clears throat> side note go sub not subscribe go follow my instagram it'll be down below it's simply sasha414 it pops up in the beginning of the video check it out but i posted this boss picture and it's so cute but yeah it says be a boss data boss build an empire so yeah back to this anyways so yeah communication quiet place with no interruptions one-on-one -on -one conversations and undivided attention and then to you want to avoid too much time with friends and isolation and gaps between meetings so like me, I get really antsy when I haven't seen Mark in like a week. So as you guys know, we're engaged, so we don't live together right now. And it's so annoying when I don't see him over a week. Like I'm like itching, I'm like, hello, I need to see you. Like, what are you doing? But um, yeah, those are the first two. I didn't want this video to be super long as to why I broke it up in three parts also to get that content content baby content comment down below if you know that's from but yeah thank you guys that is it in the next video we'll be talking about hold on let me tell y'all what the other two are the other three sorry are receiving gifts mm, i don't leave it at that i don't want to tell y'all guys because i want y'all to come back to the video and watch again so that's that thank you guys so so much for clicking on this video and watching it hopefully maybe you are those to maybe you're not maybe you're not at all you're like Sasha what the heck if you're not come back to the next video and we will figure it out together okay all right I'll have the information of the first two languages down below social media is always down below thank you guys so so much and I will see you guys on my next video deuces bye